Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I want to talk about a game called Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball, which is a first person arena shooter where you play as unicycle robots with funny mustaches. He's got fangs. <laughs> and you throw dodgeballs at each other in an arena. Right now we are playing a game called Super Ball. I was doing pretty well there where the goal is to hold one of the balls that's on the map for whatever amount of time that the, the host sets for the game. Right now it's 30. And try to hold it out against people who are trying to kill you. So I've already got 16 points. I'm already close to, to winning. Let's try to get that again. But this game is incredibly simple and it's just fun. It was recently put onto the Steam Early Access program, but it's been around for a little bit. I've seen videos dating back to three or four months ago, but it's in a way better state than it was then. I've, I've seen some of those videos and really it, it was the lack of an FOV slider that stood out to me. That game looked weird with that extremely narrow FOV. I'm playing at about 90 and this just feels perfect. The game looks great for how simple the art direction is. But it's, I mean, it's, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. It does the job. And the soundtrack, and the fact that the fucking maps light up with frequency bars. Look at these things. Look at them. They're all bumping to the music and it's just wonderful. It gets you in the mood to throw some balls at people, doesn't it? It's exactly what we've all been waiting for. And you also have an announcer that does legit monster truck rally thing announcing. I'm sure that's a selling point for someone. Someone who legit does monster monster truck arena announcing as an announcer in a game. Somebody's buying it based on that fact alone. I really need to hit this guy. We are not fighting the right person. Here we go. All right, now I'm doing okay. We just need to hold on to this for a little bit. So this game is made by one guy. His name is Eric. And he is uh, very well detailed what state the game is in on the early access page. And he's also got a very nice list of things that he wants in the game before he considers it feature complete, which is very unusual for anybody. Whenever you go onto an early access game page, you never know what you're gonna get these days because nobody ever fucking explains anything. They just say, oh, it's an early access. We want you to help us test out the game and give us money but we won't tell you exactly what state the game is in. There may be terrible bugs, terrible crashing bugs that we can't even solve yet because we don't know what the fuck we're doing. But Eric is a nice guy who has given us tons of information as to what state his game is in. And most of the things that are on the list of things that he wants to do are art assets and just some you know basic AI improvements and networking improvements putting some decorations around the maps, things like that. This game feels very complete in its current state. I have not run into a single performance issue. That's probably my favorite thing is that this game has such a simple art direction that I run at like 300 to 400 frames a second on this game. Sometimes dipping a little bit below two, but that's only when a ton of robots are exploding in my face. This game can probably run on most machines which is fantastic. I mean, that's probably the best thing that you can do for your game is to make it run well on everybody's machine. Why are you throwing that at me? I'm just gonna take it from you. Wait, he stole it. <laughs> I don't, that's happened to me before and I don't know if it's latency and I think that I pick it up, but somebody else does or if he actually takes it out of my hand, like stealing candy from a baby and just runs away with my dodgeball. Match lost. I don't know what happened, but that was the shortest game ever. <laughs> there was only four kills in the entire game. <laughs> Sometimes that's how it goes. Oh boy. But yeah, I mean this game, again, feels very complete. There is no problem getting into this game and feeling like there's something missing. This game feels very good. I'm sure that uh, whatever he does with the art assets, it's gonna be fine. He wants to add more customization for the robots, which is cool. I hope that I can, you know, 
put some nice rims on my unicycle wheel. That would be great. Maybe some hair options. I mean, yeah, we're robots, but robots also like hair. What's wrong with that? Maybe some cool hats. <laughs> I think he also wants to put in workshop support where we can make our own items. I could be wrong specifically about what he wants to have us making, but who knows? Maybe we could also be making our own shit for our robots, which is fucking wonderful. It's just great. I love mods. Mods are the greatest thing in the world. Because I'm sure somebody will come up with something very neat for a robot, but is also very gross or something. Who knows? People have weird imaginations. Yeah, I mean, this game is about nine bucks. I think it's 850 US dollars at the moment with a little bit of a discount. It's not a very expensive game. And I can promise you that you will have fun with it. If you, if you even remotely like the idea of a first person shooter that is around like this, you know, where you pick up projectiles instead of using an actual gun and there's one shot kills. And you have the chance to deflect that or catch them and just blow up the robot that throws it at you, which is very satisfying. You're gonna like this game. The only complaint that I have at the moment is the fact that there's no ping indicator when you're on a server. <laughs> God damn it. If I hit tab and I see the list of players, there is no ping. Uh, I mean, really it doesn't matter at the moment because the player base is so small, so you don't really have many options in terms of getting into a server and playing with actual people in the first place, so you've either got to stick it out or play with bots. Uh, but it would be nice if there was some kind of indication of what my latency was in a, in a server without having to go in there and test out throwing a ball or getting hit by one to really tell, ooh, that was a good shot. To, to see what my uh, latency actually is. Do I have the, I, I did not pick up the fucking Super Bowl. I swear to God, give me that thing. He's gonna hit me in the back, Mr. Green Man. Oh boy, this is just getting a little convoluted and he's just running around in a circle. <laughs> this game can get really stupid when everybody is fighting over the same balls in an area. But it's very fun to uh, frantically run to a ball and possibly just get blasted by somebody who grabs it before you. Oh, that was good. But yeah, I mean, really, that's the biggest problem is that the player base is as small as it is and there's no indication of latency in the game. But I feel that this game deserves publicity. Maybe, maybe I have some kind of pull and I can get people to maybe buy this game and kind of keep the player base alive. It does not have a lot of marketing behind it. I mean, it's only one guy, so obviously. What is he gonna do? Which is why uh, YouTubers exist. We provide a neat little service where if we like a game, we can hopefully get people to play it. And that's what I'm trying to do here. This is a legit I like this game video. You don't get that too often. Trust me, when I like a game, it's because it's good. I'm a very mean-spirited person when it comes to playing bad games. I am not nice at all if a game is bad. So if I'm saying that I like a game, you can bet that the game has some redeemable quality about it. Maybe you want to wait for it to be completely finished, which is perfectly fine. I'm sure it's very close to full release. But in its current state, it's very good, and I would highly recommend this game. I even got uh, my friend Strudel Noodle to buy it, and he thanked me for recommending the game. So that's something. He's just as mean as I am when it comes to bad games. But yeah, this is Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. I don't think there's anything else I can say about it. It's got a fantastic soundtrack that even if you don't want the game, you can get the soundtrack. I'll have links to everything, don't worry about that. This game is just wonderful fun. That was a fucking sick airstrike. Well, somebody is saying fuck you DJ Shammy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to hurt your feelings, but hey, that's a video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later.